Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the 2018 NBA playoffs. Oklahoma City Thunder fans crowding Thunder Alley, hoping this is not the last time they will come to Chesapeake Energy Arena. They're hoping for a game seven. But first, the home team has to win game number five. The Utah Jazz pushing the Thunder to the brink of elimination at three games to one series lead. The winner of this series will go on to play either Houston or Minnesota in the other half of the bracket. The New Orleans and Golden State series will start this weekend. They have already advanced. Hello again, everybody. Pete Pranica, Greg Anthony on hand. Well, Greg, this is a Thunder team that averages 108 in the regular season, only 96 in game four, only 10 assists as a team. Russell Westbrook led the league, 10 assists per game during the regular season. Yeah, and he's, his assists are down and his turnovers are up, and the shot selection has not been very good. Russell Westbrook has to be the best player in this series. He has not been thus far. He has got to play better. You heard the guys talk about it. Their lack of ball movement, their lack of good spacing and trust in one another has allowed Utah to seize control of this series. And Ricky Rubio has been the best point guard. I, I never thought I could say that in this series, but it has been the case thus far, partly because Utah trusts one another a little bit more. He has been dynamic along with the brilliance of Jonathan Mitchell and the impact of that front line in controlling the paint. Time now for the Auto Trader starting lineups for the Jazz. Joe Ingles, he's been sensational, particularly from beyond the arc. Derek Favors, Rudy Gobert, the big man in the middle. Donovan Mitchell, Rookie of the Year candidate. And Ricky Rubio in his first playoff experience. Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, Stephen Adams, Corey Brewer, and Russell Westbrook. Glad you're with us wherever you may be. The three officials as assigned by the NBA, Eddie Malloy, Kane Fitzgerald, Tom Washington, Kevin Scott is the alternate. And we are underway in game number five. And let's just keep an eye on the ability of OKC to make the defense of Utah move. That time a terrific job of favors coming over for the block. Utah winning game four in Salt Lake City, 113 to 96. Thunder have had a history in the last couple of games of good starts and then struggling in the middle quarters. Favors with a jumper and the rebound of Paul George. And both teams with a good start defensively, forcing Favors into that fadeaway and blocking the shot of George there at the rim. Anthony against Favors. Rebound, loose ball, and... They're going to get a foul there against Brewer on Rubio, which will allow Utah to take possession. It looked like there was going to be an opportunity for an offensive rebound, but Rubio's hustle there. It's a tough call. Two guys going for a loose ball, but Utah gets rewarded. First foul on Brewer. Rubio's been great in the series, 18 and a half points per game. Second leading score for the Jazz in the series. Gobert against Adams. Gobert trying to follow. Fresh clock for the Jazz. Ingles a deep three. That was a good look there by Ingles off that offensive rebound. Could not get it to go. And this is a matchup I know Billy Donovan would like to see Adams more aggressive offensively, but he has just been reluctant to attack when he's got it down low. Great offensive rebounder, doesn't get the roll. Westbrook battling for the rebound. Rubio wins the possession for Utah, and here comes Donovan Mitchell. He has been scintillating in the first four games of the series, nearly a throwaway. Mitchell, Gobert with a shot foot. That's Both exactly, teams a little tight early. Partner, that's exactly what that was by Gobert. And, you know, remember also for you, this young team, they've never been in a closeout situation. So you, you just never know how they're going to respond to it. And the sense of desperation right here now for OKC and Paul George able to get that one to go. We talk about playoff experience. For Paul George, his 70th playoff game, foul on Mitchell in a three point opportunity. For Paul George and got a, a, a mismatch there with Gobert able to get by him and attack the rim before the weak side defense could rotate. George, the leading scorer for Oklahoma City in the series at 27.3 and now 23 of 25 from the free throw line for this series. And 
Greg, talk to me a little bit about the psychology of a closeout game and what it takes. Gobert, a rim run, and a finish. Yeah, and that's a beautiful play there by Rubio to Gobert. It, you, you know, because you've got to expect the opponent to give you their best, and a lot of times when you haven't been in that situation, you get a little tight, and, and that's what I think we've seen that here early on from Utah, but as the game goes, you get into the mode of the game, and, and I think you're going to see Utah starting to execute a little bit better. That's been the strength of them throughout this series. Their offensive execution in the half court has been superb. Mitchell trying to wrap it around, stolen by Oklahoma City. Thunder led the league in steals, forced turnovers, and deflections in the regular season. Adams trying to make a move down the lane held by Favors. And you see here, beautiful find. You notice no weak side rotation from OKC. Corey Brewer has got to step over and meet him above that restricted area. Does not, and Gobert makes him pay. In case you're wondering, all time, Utah 23 and 27 in closeout games. Oklahoma City, the franchise, 31 and 28 in games in which they face elimination. And Anthony the, against Favors. And partner, that's the matchup that if you're OKC, you've got to win. Favors has been winning the matchup against Carmelo Anthony. He, he has not been able to get into a rhythm against that size and strength of favors. And because the jump shot has not been falling for Carmelo, I think it's starting to make him a little tentative. Anthony just 37% from the floor in the series and just 6 for 26 from deep. Rubio, nice little sidestep, sends it and scores it. Ricky Rubio. And what I love about Rubio, he, he is using the aggressiveness of Westbrook against him because Westbrook is going for that home run, trying to get the steals and deflections, and he's over committing at times and creating opportunities for Rubio. Rubio 13 and 8 in the game four victory. Triple double earlier in the series. Paul George misfiring from three, and Mitchell the rebound for the Jazz. Billy Donovan talked about it as well. Their discipline defensively has not been there. It was on the split on that possession. A good job of Paul George initiating contact and drawing the foul. But much better job defensively that last possession. They're more active, staying home. You can see getting hands up. That, that was the play where Rubio was able to knock down that jumper. But that's what I'm talking about, him overextending at times, Westbrook. In terms of his defense, you've got to be disciplined against Utah. They're such a terrific ball-moving team that if you bail them out, you just make the game easier. Paul George, 82% from the line in the regular season, average 22 a game. Don't forget to download the NBA app on your favorite device to keep up with the NBA playoffs. Watch live games and track all the scores, stats, top plays, and breaking news across the league. Carter, you made that point about their ability to turn you over and get deflections. That has not been evident in this series. Utah has just been really rock solid in terms of taking care of the ball, getting shots, having floor balance, and, and making OKC spend the majority of their offensive time playing five on five. Yeah, both teams basically averaging 15 turnovers a game in the series. Rubio off balance, tipped by favors. And a good job there. Even with that miss, Rubio, because he can break down the defense, it creates those offensive rebounding opportunities. And it's been Utah that's been the bigger beneficiary in this series. Thunder a one for seven start. Carmelo Anthony to the rim. That was a decisive move from Carmelo Anthony. Very aggressive and did a great job of attacking and cutting off the angle of the shot blocker. Jay Crowder in for Ingles. Crowder ejected in game four. We expect this game will get physical. Steven Adams to deflection in the steal. Westbrook going to play downhill. Back by Crowder, but missed the chippy. And give Crowder credit. He, he, he got his hand on the ball a little bit. You can see there Gobert and Favors starting to struggle a little bit because of they're having to make plays and a few turnovers here early on for Utah. Timeout taken by the Thunder. Jazz already four turnovers. And Carmelo Anthony trying to establish himself offensively. OKC by one. It was a great relationship because uh, I really feel connected with him since day one. And uh, when I came over here, we talk and we share a lot of things. Uh, 
he spent time in, in Europe too coaching and uh, that helped him knowing me more I guess and um, it helped getting connected more knowing where I come from how we play overseas and and try to get the best out of us hey guys we always talk about the relationship with the point guard and the head coach now, a lot of people had written off Ricky Rubio when he went over to Utah at the beginning of the year and watching his growth all season long one of the things about Ricky Rubio GA you know this was his outside shooting ability but well, one thing we know about Ricky Rubio now in year nine, his shooting has gotten better. And lastly, to welcome a rookie like Donovan Mitchell, both of those guys are on the same page, understanding they help one another. You know, it, it's a great point, too, Dennis, because, you know, sometimes a guys get in a comfort zone in terms of how they play as favors will get a couple free throws here. And I, I do think that Quinn gave Ricky confidence in terms of his belief and his ability to make shots. And I think we've seen a, an emergence of his ability. We've seen it with Rajon Rondo, how he started to be more aggressive offensively in terms of shooting as well. And I think it's really changed the entire complexion of this Utah team. Well, he and Mitchell have really complimented one another. Both are terrific at playing without the basketball as well. And it's impressive. Quinn Snyder's done as good a job as anybody in the league in terms of molding this team into a, a playoff caliber group. Jeremy Grant in replacing Carmelo Anthony and Quinn Snyder telling us before the game he wants those guys to think of themselves as a backcourt, not as a one guard and a two guard, but as a backcourt. Well, the, the game today is about versatility. You know, you, you don't want to be relying on one-dimensional players. You want guys that can beat you as well with their pass, their penetration, or their ability to shoot it because it just puts more pressure on the defense, and that's uh, an example of it right there by Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. Mitchell's first shot finds the bottom. Westbrook picked up by Jay Crowder. Westbrook will rise and fire and rattle it down. Oh boy, he needed to get that one because that's the shot that he gets consistently in this series because they're going to back off him as the role defender. And he's getting that 15-footer, just has not made it consistently thus far. Crowder will try for three. And the rebound, Paul George, but he loses footing. Westbrook is there to clean it up, and George taking a tough ball. Steven Adams pulls him up off the deck. Westbrook draws a foul from Jay Crowder. It'll be the second foul on Crowder, who got an early call as Ingles went to the bench. Yes. And that's something else that Utah's done a good job. They kept Westbrook off the free throw line. They haven't allowed him to live there. And thusly, I think it's been more difficult for him to get his rhythm in terms of shooting. See Rubio talking to Quinn Snyder. Quinn Snyder coaching in Russia. Also coaching in the G League with the Austin Floros. The NBA Awards presented by Kia return to TNT on June 25th. Log on to NBA.com slash awards now to vote for the Fan Awards. Winners will be announced on June 25th live on TNT. Substitutions, Royce O'Neal, who has been really good for the Utah Jazz. He is in, as is Josh Hustis for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Westbrook makes and makes again. He's got four. Paul George with five. Carmelo Anthony with two. Under the three-point lead as Rubio goes on the attack against Jeremy Grant. Corey Brewer with a rebound. He's going to play downhill against Crowder, who got a deflection. And then Rubio going to get called for the foul as Eustace goes down. And that's a second foul on Ricky Rubio. All right, a Cavaliers Pacers update from the studio in Atlanta. Guys, what do you got? Thank you, Rick. LeBron coming up big in the clutch. He, he was incredible tonight. And yeah. what did they need it? Because outside of Corver, nobody offensively really been producing in this series. And that would, had been the strength of the Cavs all season. That had been their defense. And they kind of flipped the mode here a little bit against the Pacers. Houston, Houston's one of two from the line. Now LeBron has those broad shoulders, GA, in Cleveland. They were on that show on the shoulders all night long. 
Gobert. Crowder's three is through. And that's a terrific play by Rudy Gobert, though, because he didn't catch it where he felt comfortable to make the shot, but he knew the spacing was going to allow him to find Crowder in the corner, and he delivered. And Brewer responds with a corner three of his own. Corey Brewer averaging nine and a half points per game since coming here to Oklahoma City. O'Neal finds Crowder. He makes again. Another three-point make for Jay Crowder. And, and it's Utah's ability to move the ball and then get the defense on its heel and then make the right read there to find Crowder for the triple. Skip pass stolen by Ingles. Crowder with Houston in pursuit. And Jay Crowder has come off the bench and provided all the bench scoring for the Jazz so far. That the first Oklahoma City Thunder turnover, by the way. Westbrook. And again, just no ball movement. And then stagnant offensively. And Utah is getting their rhythm from the bad offensive possessions of OKC. Foul on Josh Eustace. Well, we mentioned Corey Brewer moments ago, a midseason acquisition for the Thunder. How about the impact that Jake Crowder has had on this Utah team since the trade with Cleveland? I think he's been terrific, you know, because he, he gives them a, a good basketball player. He's a guy that can defend multiple positions. He can knock down the open three. And he can also just make good reads, whether it's on offense or defense. He's almost like a plug-and-play guy, a great fit for Quinn Snyder in this Jazz group. Multiple steals in all four games of the series, and one of two from the free throw line for Jay Crowder. Now remember this stretch too, though, where Utah's been able to take the lead. There's no George and no Carmelo on the floor. They're getting ready to check back in here for Billy Donovan. Westbrook threw up an air ball, and because he was the first to touch it, it is a traveling violation. Didn't and hit the rim, didn't hit the floor, didn't hit anybody else, so it's a travel. And, and dare I say it, but it, it, it almost seems as if Westbrook's lost a little bit of confidence in that jump shot. It just doesn't seem to be playing with the same level of bounce. We know the, he, he's going to always fight, but it just seems like his confidence is a notch below where we're used to seeing it. Paul George, Carmelo Anthony into the game, along with Brewer, Westbrook, and Grant. Mitchell guarded by Paul George, longtime elite defender in the league. Crowder got by Brewer. Corner three, Ingles. It's in. Just great offensive execution. They, they run a pick and roll, what I call a dummy pick and roll, just to make you adjust, come back and run it again, get you in rotation, and make the right read to get Ingles there for the triple. Ingles shooting 47% from beyond the arc in the series. Westbrook, pretty spin and a finish for Russell Westbrook. And I like that because that was off the ball, right? He didn't come down against a loaded defense. Someone else initiated. He was able to catch in an attack before the rotation. Mitchell wraparound. Crowder puts in the three. And Utah, four of six from beyond the arc. Three of four from downtown for Jay Crowder. And the Jazz, their largest lead of the game. Crowder, who is held to just six points in game four, has exploded for a dozen in the first quarter. Jazz, the lead with two and a half remaining. The NBA playoffs on NBA TV are brought to you by Auto Trader. Shop all the cars like never before with the all new Auto Trader. By Kaiser Permanente. Train the mind and the body will follow. By the Stinger from Kia official automotive partner of the NBA and by State Farm here to help life go right. Utah Jazz with a 25-19 lead and Greg the ball movement and the player movement from Utah has been exceptional six assists on nine baskets. It, it, their offense creates the offense. They let the ball find the open man. They have had OKC on their heels all game long really all series long in terms of whether or not their rotations have been slow they're hanging too long on pick and rolls they're creating driving angles and then they space it as well as anybody in the league and they have right now got this okc team reeling defensively paul george straight line drive goes at crowder misses but jeremy grant is there to follow it in 
To follow up on Utah's ball movement, Greg, in the postseason, they're averaging three secondary assists per game, or some people call it a hockey assist. The pass that leads to the pass that is recorded as the assist. Yeah, and, and, and it's so important. It's really the way the game's played today. Your, your ability to space and move and read and react, there's another example of it right there. You know, it, it's not hard. You don't have to be the most talented player to make the right play and that's what Quinn Snyder has recognized with his group and gotten these guys to buy into it they're all about getting good rhythm looks for their team not playing hero ball approaching a minute and a half remaining first quarter Paul George picked up by Ingles that's been a spirited battle all series long favors the foul that will put Paul George back to the free throw line second foul on Derek favors Meanwhile, going back to Utah, the impact that Jake Crowder has had on this game, Greg, he has scored or assisted on the last 18 points for Utah. Yeah, and, and it's not a matter of him just being so great. It's, it's a matter of them as a group making the right read. The ball ends up where it's supposed to, and that's what's been so impressive as George misses that first one. Tomorrow night at the Bradley Center, Boston and Milwaukee, game six. It's tomorrow night on TNT at 8 o'clock Eastern. Boston looking to advance. And the reason I say that, partner, is because it, it could have very easily have been uh, uh, Ingles making those plays and knocking down those shots because it's about the right read. All those guys are versatile. They can all make the shot. They can make the drive. They can make the pass. But most importantly, they can make the right read, and that's what they've been doing in this series. Jay Crowder, another three, another make for the Utah Jazz. They've got it stuck on automatic from beyond the arc. Six of eight. Carmelo misses the three. Long rebound filters out to Paul George. And, and again, look at how many possessions OKC has where no one else touches the ball. You know, easy to defend. I don't care how talented you are if you allow that defense to load. Even though Paul George is knocking that down, it is so tough to live making contested two. They are going to have to change philosophically here from an energy standpoint as well if they want to get back in this game. Raymond Felton in for Oklahoma City. Dante Exum is in for the Utah Jazz. O'Neal for three. That's off the heel. And the rebound to Carmelo Anthony. So George Anthony Grant, Alex Abrinas, and Raymond Felton. Abrinas is a guy that Billy Donovan said, I got to get this guy some shots. Felton pulling his way to the rim. Exum goes down. No call either way with 20.8. Raymond Felton's a guy that might have to give this group a spark off the bench. He's more than capable in terms of making those plays out of the pick and roll. Ingles, George goes down. Ingles three, laces another one with 4.2. Seven of 10 three point shooting. Paul George for three, but it goes, and it does. Boy, did they need that shot to go down because that first quarter was a clinic for Utah putting up 34 points. Paul George with 11 to lead the Thunder. Countering 15 from Jay Crowder. But the Jazz a five-point lead after 12. Welcome back to NBA TV. The Jazz up 34-29. Quinn, outside of the first couple of turnovers, you got to be loving the ball movement. Yeah, they're blitzing our pick and roll, which, you know, was a possibility. And different guys got to make plays, and they were. We just got to take care of the defensive glass. I know it's a closeout game. You got to love Jay Crowder, the veteran, coming off the bench with the hot hand. Yeah, he's been he's been grinding on the defensive end, and the offense clicked a little bit. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Dennis. All right, back over to you guys. Yeah, the offense has been clicking 7 of 10 from downtown. Jazz averaging 11 three-point makes per game in the series. Raymond Felton with a pushing foul against Dante Exum and some conversation with Jay Crowder. Second quarter lineups, Jazz with Ingles, Favors, Crowder, O'Neal, and Exum. George, Anthony, Grant, Abrinas, and Felton for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Over the top, Favors. And that's what we're talking about with the rotation. Great job that time of making the extra effort. And George comes up short there on the triple. Paul George now one of three from beyond the arc. Crowder, this is his best scoring game of the series. Had 13 in game one, averaging just six per game in the series. And so when you look at Utah, they're not a team that's built to beat you with ISO ball one-on-one. -on -one. 
So if you force them to have to create offense individually, that's where your defense can have an effect, as we've seen here the last couple of possessions. Ingles and Anthony tie up. Foul on Ingles is his first. First Utah foul in the quarter. Ingles didn't like the call. Not sure about that one either. We are expecting a level of physicality. We saw it in game four. A lot of technicals. Crowder ejected. Felton. And it looked like Carmelo Anthony almost misstepped there and missed on the pass. Third Oklahoma City turnover of the game. Yeah, just a miscommunication on that one. Felton got deep in there, and everybody's kind of expecting a shot. And he threw it where Carmelo wasn't. Rubio back into the game. Exum goes out. Paul George closes out against Ingles. O'Neal going behind the back. Crowder for three. Again, that's an example of how you've got to play defensively. But I tell you what, it is tough to be that disciplined for entire possession and another unforced turnover there by OKC. That was one of the things that Billy Donovan told us before the game. Can you stay with it, yeah. the game plan offensively and defensively, and be persistent for 48 minutes? It, it, They've it lost that in this series. Yeah, and it's, it's tough to defend that long per possession because of how many passes Utah's going to make, how many drives and kicks they're going to create out of that, that half-court set. And sometimes all it takes is one guy to break down mentally to create the opportunity. Paul George called for that last foul. And to that end, in games three and four, Oklahoma City got off to the great start, and then the second quarter is when things got a little dicey. They've been outscored 35 to 24 on average in games three and four. Shot clock down to seven for Rubio. Two-man game with Favors. Tough catch underneath. Puts it up and in. And Favors has just done such a good job. Every time he sets that screen, he is immediately running to the rim, knowing he's going to have a mismatch and create an opportunity, whether he gets it or a weak side three because the help has to rotate. A little more than two gone by here in the second quarter. Felton, shot clock down to four. Forced into a step back over Crowder. Ingles matched up against Abrinas. And gets the Favors screen. Rubio down low. Favors waiting out the defense, drawing the foul, and he'll go to the line. And, and, and what's happened is because of the spacing and the ability to make threes, OKC right now is having to pick their fourth because they're, they're starting to lean out a little toward that three-point shot, and then they're able to get Favors down low here. He just outworks them to come up with that loose ball and get the deuce. Favors to the free-throw line, two of two at the stripe tonight, and the other issue, Greg, for Oklahoma City at this point, that's already three team fouls in a little more than two minutes. And the Thunder will call for time with 9 and 28 remaining in the first half. Jazz, seven point lead on the road. Before the game, Greg, we asked Billy Donovan about the offensive struggles. He said, we have to move the ball side to side. Well, and then they're not doing it. Just take a look at Utah's defense. They are loaded. Five sets of eyes on the ball. And one reason why OKC can't get to the offensive glass is because they don't shift the defense. They don't create offensive rebounding opportunities. Who's ever got it shoots it. And, and they've been doing that consistently. And it really has allowed Utah to defend them better because of how porous they've been at times offensively. And Utah was a good defense team all throughout the season second in defensive efficiency giving up 101 and a half points per 100 possessions favors makes the second uh, it, it's even when you have great talent it, it is really difficult to live on making contested shots against great defense you have got to do a better job with your movement and execution to create easier opportunities with rhythm Westbrook back into the ball game Dribbles it off his foot. Abrinas on the pickup. Ingles crowds him. And nearly a turnover. Shot clock inside of one. Paul George, desperation three. Hit the backboard, but not the rim. So a shot clock violation. Uh, again, just another wasted possession where they're just kind of standing around. 
and watching. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm perplexed by it because in the postseason, you know, teams know what you're going to do. They have the opportunity to prepare for you. So if you're not moving that ball and moving those eyes, it's going to be a struggle. Steven Adams also back in for Oklahoma City. He guards Favors with 10 to shoot. And a foul to be called on Paul George. That will be number two on Paul George. And the fourth team foul on the Thunder. You see Paul just trying to overplay that a little bit. Uh, that's not necessarily a good call there. Definitely Donovan sold it and got away with it. Smart play there by the rookie. He doesn't play like a rookie. Not at, at all. all. He, he is so impressive, you know. And, and the biggest thing I love about him is his ability actually to play without the basketball. You know, that, that's what's been most impressive for the young player. Jonas Jarepko in for the first time tonight for Utah. Patrick Patterson in for the Thunder. Rubio with a fadeaway, rimming no, and the rebound, Stephen Adams. Westbrook picked up by Mitchell. Works inside, deflected and blocked by Gobert, and then Adams trying to get it back. Pardon and a foul going to be called on Oklahoma City. I don't even think he got it. It was blocked. I think he short-armed the shot. Again, I think that goes back to just he doesn't have the same level of confidence. You know, I think he was expecting the shot to be blocked. Yeah. The Gobert and intimidation. Just, yeah, he just he just short armed it, and that's again. Oftentimes, it's not how many blocks you get; it's how many you alter. And that's an altered shot there by Gobert. Westbrook, his first foul puts Gobert at the free throw line. Even though Gobert did not block that shot in the regular season, he averaged almost two and a half blocks a game. He would have been second in the league, but didn't play enough games to yeah. qualify. Injuries to both legs kept him out for almost half the season. Dennis Scott, what are you seeing? And yeah, guys, after games one, talking to Quinn Snyder, he's told Gobert, sometimes you can go block the shot, GA, but not try to block the shot because so many guys are worried about you. Mm -hmm. So we started tracking how many alterations can he get in the game. So far, he has three of them. We have to call him the Taylor. He's all about alterations. <laughs> Largest lead for the Jazz here in game five. Skip pass, Westbrook for three. And even though that one doesn't fall, that was a much better job. A little drive and kick action there by George to Westbrook. And the ball went side to side, but Westbrook couldn't pay it off. Westbrook is 2 of 8 from the floor, and Mitchell dribbling it out of bounds. And, and really, they've done a better job in this quarter, the Thunder, defensively. Much more active, getting up in the passing lanes, not allowing those straight line drives to create those opportunities on the weak side. And Mitchell, who's been averaging 27 and a half in the series, limited to just two on four shots. I beg your pardon, two on one shot. Foul called on Jonas Jerebko. That's his first. Second foul on the Jazz in the quarter. Westbrook. And that's a positive sign just to see the ball go through the basket here. This crowd is definitely a little nervous, partner. They have not been what we're accustomed to seeing here in Oklahoma City. And through the hands of O'Neal, out of bounds. And the one thing that is helping to keep Oklahoma City in this game, turnovers. And that one really an unforced error from the Jazz. Seventh turnover of the game. Westbrook crosses over, trying to hit Adams. Deflected back out to Westbrook. Missing in tight, Gobert there. The rebound for Utah. That was a good drive again. That's considered an altered shot there even for Gobert. And another throwaway by the Jazz getting sloppy with the basketball. Yeah, and that's really on Jarepko because and Rubio's telling him he's expecting him to be down in that corner. And a lot of times you've got to create the passing angle for the passer. That time, Jarepko just kind of got stuck in mud there and didn't drift to that baseline. Five gone by, second quarter. Adams wheels in the lane, hooks it up and off, and the rebound to Mitchell. Thunder just 37% from the floor. Jazz at 52%. 
Mitchell. Yes. And he's the one guy that can consistently create his own offense. There he had the mismatch. They've been struggling with turnovers, and he just took matters into his own hands. Fans, as you pointed out, nervous here in Oklahoma City. Westbrook, jackknifes and shine for the deuce. Ricky Rubio, career high scoring numbers, assist numbers down. Crowder back in the game, finds Gobert, and that is sent out of play emphatically. How about Patrick Patterson there? Not known as a shot blocker, but selling out on that defensive possession. Patterson sends it into the stands. Seven to shoot for the Jazz coming back in. And Quinn Snyder calls for timeout. After the Jazz had their largest lead of the night, it's down to eight. The NBA playoffs on NBA TV are brought to you by State Farm. Here to help life go right. And by Pacifico, who reminds you to live life anchors up. Drink responsibly. Inside Chesapeake Arena, it is getting loud. Second quarter has been tight scoring for both sides. Offensive rebound, Gobert. Jazz outscoring Oklahoma City 7-4 here in the second quarter. Mitchell on the deck, pretty spin, a scoop, no score, and the rebound to Adams. Corey Brewer back in for the Thunder. Houston trails and can't finish. Gobert knocks it out of bounds. And that right there is another area where Utah's been really good. Their defensive transition, that was off a missed layup where they didn't have good floor balance, and yet they were able to get back and be able to contest that layup at the rim. Paul George back in. Fresh 24 for Oklahoma City. Westbrook, good again. And he may be starting to heat up, partner, because he has been aggressive here. It looks like he's getting into a good rhythm offensively. He's got a dozen. Donovan Mitchell just four to this point. Jay Crowder with a game-high 15. Ingles picked up by Adams. Searching for the mismatch with four to shoot. On the deck, tried to hand it to Gobert, and they missed connections, but deflected out by Oklahoma City. And a much better job of being disciplined defensively, our OKC. It's one reason why they're getting the deflections is because they're not getting broken down defensively. Just under two on the shot clock. Ingles beats the shot clock buzzer with a triple. Four of six from downtown for Joe Ingles. And it's hard to get a wide open triple off a baseline out of bounds like that. Great job by the Jazz. Westbrook again on the attack. Rebound tipped out to Crowder. Three on two if they hurry. Ingles, nice pass. Gobert, no finish but a foul. He'll have to earn it at the line. Yeah, he missed the layup on the one end and then a really nice job of being patient by Ingles there. You, you can see here just a solid screen, and Corey Brewer's got to do a better job of getting through that. Kind of laid on that screen, and Ingles made him pay. Gobert, two of two from the line tonight, make him three is four three as we tell you to watch the starters tomorrow at 6:30. Presented by Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey. They'll break down the biggest on and off court storylines from the playoffs only on NBA TV. Gobert. Solid at the free throw line. Shot 68% in the regular season. Gobert was six, only one field goal for him. George, floater in. Well, that, that's an example where I think you have to do against Gobert is get him in that in between area, but above the restricted area where he is a little more reluctant to come out. You can get that shot a little more consistently. He screens for Crowder. He misses the long gun, and it's boarded by Paul George. Ill-advised pass. Gobert with a throw ahead for Crowder, and Ingles will say thank you very much. Yeah, that is just a poor decision by Paul George. Got caught in the air. Spacing was poor, and Utah heads up there to get it out in transition. Westbrook. But how good a play was that by Gobert yeah. on the pitch ahead? You saw that one. Read it and kicked it up for the easy one. 
Ingles picked up by Corey Brewer under four remaining first half. Ingles, extra pass, an attack by Crowder, and a foul call. And that was just a great read by Jay Crowder. He saw he had the angle on Patrick Patterson and just went in and put the onus on the official there to make the call. Foul on Patterson, Crowder to the free throw line, and that's really what this Utah offense is predicated on, making the appropriate read. We talked to Quinn Snyder before the game. He'd been part of the Spurs family, coached the Austin Toros of the G League, so he and Greg Popovich connected there and also coached with Ettore Messina in, uh, in Moscow. In Moscow, yeah, and, and he brought a lot of that spacing and driving kick and read and react offense, and, and they're getting it off their pick and roll, and that's where, you know, Gobert and Favors have created a lot of that because that hard dive to the rim forces the help, and as soon as you help, it puts you in rotation. Utah, their largest lead of the night. Steal by Mitchell. A look ahead. Go bear off the setup from Ricky Rubio. Timeout, Oklahoma City. Right now, the Thunder faithful are not in a good place. Poor decision, bad spacing again there by the Thunder and Rubio and company making a play in the okay in the open floor here in complete control 324 remaining here in the first half an 11 to 2 utah run at the moment for a 52 37 lead the largest lead of the night for the utah jazz trying to close out the oklahoma city thunder thunder trying to keep this series alive and go back to salt lake city for game six I tell you, this last 315 is going to be really big from OKC standpoint. It, it really could end up being the season if they cannot get some kind of rhythm going here offensively. Anthony misses the three after checking back into the ball game. Defense. Under three remaining first half, Gobert drives and commits the offensive foul. And that was an example there where Right, that's really, again, on Rubio. You put him in a tough play there, giving it to him about 18 feet from the basket. That's not really his game to be able to make that play there. And a good read by Brewer taking the charge. Ninth turnover against the Jazz. They've only given up six points off turnovers. Adams, Gobert. Okay. Brewer, strong move to the rack. Well, they need something positive to happen here as Brewer gets that layup. Just five points from the Oklahoma City bench. Rubio doubled, finds Gobert. Mitchell, a wide open three, rims it out. And Utah has had a dominant first half. Gobert and Adams tangle underneath, and a foul on Gobert will be his second. But Utah has had their way offensively, Greg, shooting 50% from the floor, and Donovan Mitchell only four points. Yeah, but because, again, it hasn't been their form. And you can see the foul here is he and Gobert get a little tangled up. This he felt like Gobert was a little excessive, but Mitchell doesn't force the game. I mean, right now, he doesn't have to have more points because they're shooting well, they're sharing it, they're spacing it. And they're coming up with stops consistently. Brewer unable to hit against Rubio. Rubio going to the rim. Ends up on the baseline, and Ingles takes the foul. It'll be just the fourth and the first in the last two minutes against Utah, second on Ingles. And that's just a really smart play by Ingles. You, you don't allow that run out. Corey Brewer would have had a dunk. This crowd would have gotten back into the game, and thusly you force OKC to a contested mid-range jump shot. And basically another no-pass possession yeah, for Oklahoma yeah, City. It, it, I, um, it, it's hard to watch offensively how OKC plays at times. Carmelo Anthony switches on to Rubio. Ingles off the curl. Foul line sends it, can't score it. Rebound Westbrook. Brewer, Adams, Donovan Mitchell from the backside with a rejection. And the crowd wanted a foul. Great play there by Mitchell. How Gobert, about? Crowder, 
misfiring from three. But you get a sense of Utah's ball movement and unselfishness yeah. on that sequence, even though they don't score. Even though they don't. And they all cut hard because they expect that if they're open, they're going to get the ball. As Zero can't get that one to fall. And Crowder with a hustle play on the baseline. Crowder and Gobert on the floor at the other end. And George with a shove of Rubio. And that's a frustration foul there as you're now going to send Rubio to the free throw line. And it's the third foul on Paul George. And that was a pretty clean block when you consider this is playoff basketball there by Mitchell coming from the backside. So Rubio will go to the free throw line. And that foul by Paul George, his third, and one yeah. you didn't really have to take because you had two Jazz players on the other end of the floor slow to get up. It's a frustration <laughs> foul. Well, that's really right now the, the Thunder are succumbing to the frustrations of how this game is going. And a lot of it is self-inflicted. Uh, again, just they, they don't necessarily trust each other enough and those shots that they're taking they are not falling here tonight Rubio 18th in the league shot 87 percent in the regular season and that goes in the dictionary under frustration foul yeah I mean that's a you know you, you, Ingles took a similar foul but one he wasn't in foul trouble two they weren't in the penalty Alex Sabrinas into the game for Oklahoma City as Rubio misses both Forty seconds remaining. No fouls to give either way. Anthony, a deep two, puts it in. Boy, they, again, that's another positive sign. They get Carmelo Anthony, and they are going to need their big three here in the second half. Carmelo, two of six now from the floor. Nine, the different shot clock to game clock. Paul George on the guard against Mitchell. Now picked up by Abrinas, five to shoot. Mitchell in and out, pump fakes against Abrinas and draws the foul. Crowd less than pleased with the decision. And even that though for the rookie, how about the poise there? Clock running down. Tough angle here to see, but once he had him rocking, yeah, that's a tough call there. But again, sometimes the official doesn't have the correct angle. And Mitchell gets that call. That's going to be three free throws. Make it four. Technical yeah. foul on Billy Donovan. So a three-shot foul and the technical foul on Billy Donovan. And frustration starting to mount for Oklahoma City here in the second quarter. Billy Donovan wants that kind of call on the other end and feisty no doubt about it but right now he's got to come up with some kind of offense to get his guys going in that second half and I think he was upset because Brewer got steamrolled on his missed three yeah didn't get a call there but the foul on Abrinas Mitchell 80 percent from the line for the season and 14 of 16 coming into tonight's game how about OKC the 41 points in the half here at home in a must win game. Yeah, they do count this free throw. I think Kane Fitzgerald may have had an inadvertent whistle. I heard the whistle yeah. sound. Now they got to determine. Because I'm not sure you can count it if the whistle went off before he shot it. That's what they're trying to determine. It's Kane Fitzgerald on the left. Ed Malloy, who is an outstanding basketball player in the Philadelphia area, is our crew chief tonight. Tom Washington on the right. So. They count it, and so one more free throw coming on the three-shot foul. Technical has already been made. And Mitchell drops all of them, and it is a 56-41 count.
Westbrook for three. Rebound Mitchell. A second remaining. O'Neal, that would not have counted. Dominant first half performance from the Utah Jazz, shooting 46% and 50% from three. After a quick break, we'll send it to our American Express halftime report with Rick Hamlet, David Griffin, Steve Smith, and Gary Payton. In Oklahoma City, the normally raucous Chesapeake Energy Arena crowd has been somewhat muted. The Jazz, a 56-41 lead, the 15-point margin representing their largest lead of the game. Pete Craddock and Greg Anthony, and it's time to go by the numbers presented by SoFi as we look at the first half of this ball game. And it's been dominated by the Utah Jazz, particularly on the offensive end. The three-point shooting has been spectacular. The only thing that's hurting Utah, really, the number of turnovers. But the 17 bench points, Greg, They've all come from Jay Crowder. Yeah, he, he was terrific. And in their overall game plan, other than the turnovers, as you mentioned, was flawless. They shot it well from beyond. He was electric coming in and just having a huge impact right away, knocking down triples, doing the job defensively as well, and getting into a terrific rhythm to kind of stabilize this young upstart group here as they have been in complete control as they try to move on here in this closeout game. And one of the things that we talked about earlier today, Greg, is how does a young and relatively inexperienced playoff team like Utah respond in a closeout game on the road? Well, Jay Crowder's been in the playoffs with multiple teams now. He's been there. Yeah, he has, and he's been terrific. And I tell you what, it helps when the opponent you play plays the way that OKC did. Five assists in that first half. Defense. No ball movement and the energy. They, they had stretches where they got after defensively, but they could not capitalize on it. Let's see if they come out with a different mindset here to start the third. Only 12 points in the third quarter for Oklahoma City. Staring the end of the season right between the eyes. Mitchell stumbles through and oh, somehow goodness. scoops and scores. That was incredible body control there. And the strength to get that up and over with the left. In double figures now with 10. Westbrook on the attack. And the rebound, Rubio. Crowd screams for a foul. They get none. Of course, Mitchell, a playoff career high, 33 in game four. Rubio's three. Front remembering no. Followed by Gobert not there. Slap out rebound by Adams. And Rubio, tiptoeing the sideline, is out of bounds. Rubio's not happy. Westbrook's not happy. But how about this? Takes the little hit there. Just gets it up softly above the rim for the finish. Anthony trying to get the step against Gobert. He'll get the foul and will go to the free throw line. That set, the same set they ran that started. Gobert picking up his third there and Carmelo getting to the line. Anthony's first trip to the free throw line tonight. Billy Donovan hit with a technical in the second quarter. Anthony to the free throw line. He has really struggled since April the 1st, shooting just 37% from the floor. And a guy who throughout his career did a great job, Greg, as you well know, of getting to the free throw line. Fewer than three free throw attempts per game. And a lot of it, too. Listen, 15th year, you know, obviously not the same player he once was, but doesn't seem to be playing with the same level of joy that, that we've seen maybe earlier in the season. And right now, you can't be very joyous. Facing an elimination game, down 16 on your home floor. They are going to have to come out with a lot of fight here to try to cut into this lead. 3D, what do you got? Well, GA, you're right on point. Just talking to the Utah Jazz's coaching staff. They're saying stick to the program, keep the ball movement, keep sharing, and right on cue, you get a missed three. So that's what they've been doing all series long. It's playing for one another and playing the right way. Westbrook going downhill, trying to drop it off for Adams. Spacing too tight. Turnover, Oklahoma City. Mitchell back the other way. Rubio, an open three. Puts it in. Yeah, that's just indicative of who the Jazz have been. Force that turnover, get down. They move it, find the open guy, and knock down that triple. Extra movement, the extra pass has served Utah very well tonight. Westbrook rejected by Gobert. And this building is as quiet as I've ever heard it. Mitchell for three. It's good. I have, I, I'm with you, partner. I, I have been in many a playoff games in this environment. We are talking about before the game with, with, with Dennis. It's as good an environment as you're going to find 
for postseason basketball. This place right now like a board for the Thunder. Westbrook misses, got his own miss underneath. It's a 23 to seven run for Utah. Adams draws a foul. And speaking of great environments, I'll tell you what, Salt Lake Salt City Lake has is. always been one of the best. Gobert the rejection against Westbrook. Third foul on Ricky Rubio. So Gobert and Rubio both with three fouls. Jazz two team fouls here, early third quarter. I am still a, a little bit shell shocked. I just didn't see a scenario where we would come in here and see the Jazz up 21 points here in the second half. But they have been so impressive on both ends. This is a Utah team that after Gordon Hayward left, I think people said, okay, well, what do you got? I mean, Ricky Rubio, things weren't going well at the end there in Minnesota. As Favors draws a foul, and he'll go to the free throw line. And yet... Quinn Snyder has got these guys to play greater than the sum of the parts. Yeah, and, and let's not discount the impact that Donovan Mitchell has had. Exactly. Because he has been as special a rookie. Yeah, I mean, literally any other year, he'd probably be the rookie of the year. He has been dynamic. It's rare that a, you could argue that a rookie is the best player on a team that's in the postseason, but I, I, I would make that argument with Donovan Mitchell. I know Rudy Gobert is terrific, but He's been the difference maker in terms of giving them a guy that they can consistently rely upon offensively, and he's doing it again here tonight. He was the first rookie to lead his team in scoring on a 45-win team, the first rookie since David Robinson. The only other guys to do it, you may have heard of them, Bird, Kareem, and Wilt. Yeah. That's big company. That is as good as it gets. Pretty esteemed company for that young man, and he has been terrific. Anthony going one-on-one, -on -one, and Gobert, I believe, got him on the arm. That'll be four on Gobert. Yeah. And, and listen, as great as things are going right now for Utah, there is a lot of time left in this game. So you don't want to start playing down to the level of OKC. And that four foul could be costly. Anthony back to the free throw line. So Gobert with four. And decision time for Quinn Snyder. NBA TV is your home for live 2018 playoffs coverage before and after every game. Tune in after tonight's games for highlights, analysis, live press conferences, and more about that thrilling Cleveland, Indiana game and also Washington and Toronto. Big night in the NBA and playoff basketball. Let's see, 922 here, partner. This is when Gobert goes out. Let's see if there's an opportunity for the Thunder to rally. Ball called here on Russell Westbrook. It's his second. Team second. So if you're looking for Thunder, you, you don't have to get desperate and overextend. You just got to work hard, come up with stops. Figure out a way to get something easy offensively. Crowder steps to the three-point line and hits. Uh, that is just, I mean, it, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, they continue to be able to force you to extend out on that pick and roll, and the rotation's not getting there, and Crowder makes them pay. So he is in. Gobert is out. Paul George working against Favors. He fires, and the rebound to Mitchell. Let's check in with 3D again. All right, guys, it's kind of frustrating, GA, to see the same play, high pick and roll or high horns, and you make an extra pass, you get a wide open shot every possession. So somehow, OKC has to figure out to get on the same page. And Crowder has it stuck on automatic timeout, <laughs> Oklahoma City. And for the Utah Jazz, it's Groundhog Day. Run it till it doesn't work. 12 triples for the Jazz. The NBA playoffs on NBA TV are brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925, and by Verizon, the most awarded network ever. Not all that far from the Riverwalk here in Oklahoma City. And 
Utah is putting on a show here in the third quarter, Greg. Five of eight from the floor and four of six from downtown. A 15 to five start to the period. George drives against Favors, double clutches it up off, and he'll go to the free throw line with eight and 21 remaining in the third. He keeps saying how much time there is, but you still have to change how you're playing if you're OKC. Jay Crowder, franchise record six triples tonight, tying Darren Williams' franchise record. And then there's Joe Ingles in games three and four, yeah. and Ricky Rubio in game two. Hey, and, and Ingles has got four made threes tonight, so it's not as if he can't get to six here with the way they have been playing offensively. Ingles finished fourth in the regular season in three-point percentage at 44%. And Oklahoma City trying to stay afloat here at the free throw line. And Utah out of fouls to give with 8-19 remaining in the third quarter. Paul George now with 14, 5 of 7 from the free throw line. And then Ingles got rolled into. And Aaron the whistle. And a foul going to be called against Corey Brewer. That'll be his third and the team's third. Brewer got a deflection, almost came up with the steal there. Ends up fouling Ingles, though. Oklahoma City was held to fewer than 100 points only 20 times in the regular season. And twice here in the series. Pass through the hands of Westbrook and then through Favors and out of bounds to Oklahoma City. 11th turnover for Quinn Snyder's Utah Jazz. And that's really been the only area of concern if you're Utah. Westbrook for three, puts it in. His first three-point make of the night. And that's only the third for OKC. They have, Utah, done a terrific job of not allowing them to get a lot of looks from beyond. Crowder, drive, dish, Ingles for three. And the rebound to Adams, he claims his fourth rebound of the game. Westbrook, another three. Good again. Well, you can see when Snyder knows there is a lot of time. It doesn't take much to get the Thunder back in ball. 7-0 run here to get the whole crowd back into it. The NBA playoffs on NBA TV are brought to you by the Stinger from Kia, official automotive partner of the NBA. By Auto Trader. Shop all the cars like never before with the all-new Auto Trader. By Champion. And by Sprint. Works for me. 7 0 run, Russell Westbrook, a couple of triples. Yeah, and listen, it's been a struggle all night for the Thunder, but you need something positive to happen. Maybe those two threes is it. And you saw Quinn Snyder quickly got up off that bench to call timeout. And you can see he had had he has had his struggles in the postseason. Now, granted, he was getting 37 a game last year, but remember, that was on 30 field goal attempts. So the percentages across the board and the impact are down for Westbrook. Let's see if he can up the ante here in this elimination game. In his 92nd playoff game, Ingles drives on Brewer. Extra pass, corner three. Crowder comes up short. And the rebound to Westbrook. Crowd beginning to sense a hometown rally. And again, ton of time. I mean, you know how quickly it can change in an NBA game, especially with a three-point shot. And there's an old-school three-point opportunity as George just kind of slow-rolled in there on the attack. And you can see with Favors out there and not having Gobert, they can get into their great patience by George there. Takes the little hit and able to knock down the layup. Well, foul problems now. That's four on Favors. Gobert already on the bench with four. Epi Udo into the game for the Utah Jazz. And, and, and nothing ever beautiful about being down by 15 in the third, but 
There's still over six minutes to go here in the midst of a 10-0 run for the Thunder. And just like that now, the crowd back into it. That front line out of the game with foul trouble. This is an opportunity for the Thunder. Deep three, Rubio rimming no. And the rebound to Westbrook trying to build on a 10-0 run. George splits the double team, scoop, no score, rebound, Rubio took it away from Adams. Mitchell on the deck to the cup against Adams, followed by Udo. And again, even though Mitchell doesn't score, that hard attack created the offensive rebound opportunity, and Udo delivers. Jazz plus seven on the glass. Westbrook, good rhythm. That's the one thing about a guy like Russell Westbrook. He could miss ten in a row, but it's not going to affect his aggressiveness, and he's going to have to be here for the Thunder. Eight of his 20 here in the third, under five and a half remaining in the third. Thunder trailed by 25 earlier in the quarter. Mitchell for three. Rebound Brewer. Jeremy Grant has come on for Oklahoma City. Westbrook going to the cup and laying it in. Another Utah timeout. Quinn Snyder now searching for answers as Russell Westbrook has started to take this game over in the third. Ten of his 22 in the period. Russell Westbrook has injected some excitement and some scoring for Oklahoma City. Yeah, and again, don't discount the impact or lack thereof of not having favors and go bare at the rim. So that rim protection not being there, now you're seeing OKC, if they get stopped, they can get out in transition and be effective. Go bare back in the game. And, and I like this move by Quinn Snyder. 14-2 run right now. And here you see the impact right there. Even though he doesn't score, He's there. You have to be a count. You have to take him into consideration from a defensive standpoint, and he gets to the free throw line. Third foul on Westbrook. Gobert, four of four from the free throw line tonight. Thunder plus six after Gobert went to the bench with his fourth foul. And now you also, if you go bare, how, how aggressive can you be? Four fouls, you obviously don't want to pick up that fifth, but you don't want to allow the Thunder to have free reign at the rim. Got one of two. And this is where Utah's mental fortitude will be challenged. What's the hardest game to win in a playoff series? The closeout the game. Closeout. George into Gobert. Good smart move by Paul George. Go at the guy with four fouls. George now is 19. Smart. He and Westbrook have combined for 41. Yeah, smart and physical. Because he <laughs> went in strong on Gobert and didn't allow him to gather and contest that shot. 12-point game. Mitchell picked up by Adams. Rubio on a cut. Floater around and out. And the rebound knocked out by Jeremy Grant. Fresh shot clock for the Jazz. Gobert was there as well. And you, can see here, and you can see that bump. You see when he's able to dislodge there. It doesn't allow Gobert as a shot blocker to gather and contest. Smart play there by George. Jazz with Gobert, Mitchell, Rubio, Crowder, and Royce O'Neal. O'Neal's been a good factor for Utah in this series off the bench. Crowder. Stolen by Adams. Westbrook on the attack. Throws it up wildly, but drew a foul. I tell you what, though. This looks like the OKC team we saw for stretches during the regular season. And, and we saw in game one where they were active, getting deflections, creating transition opportunities, putting pressure on the defense of Utah in the open court, not in the half court. And for the Jazz, 12 turnovers leading to now 13 points and Greg all turnovers are not created the same no. the live ball turnovers will kill you that they really will especially on the road 
because you get the crowd going, you energize that home team. And right now, this place, is, you know, a game that was in complete doubt three, four minutes ago. Now, if you're OKC, you got to feel really good about being only down 10 here with four minutes to go in the third. 18 to three is the run. Rubio guided by Westbrook, under four remaining in the third. Gobert rolls, pitches it out. Three ball missed by O'Neal. Rebound Gobert, and Gobert calls for an offensive foul. Rudy Gobert has just picked up his fifth. And how about defensively there? Terrific job with the rotations, and then Gobert, watch that left arm, just a little bit of hook, and Brent has just sold it, quite frankly, but officials, referee momentum, and right now, OKC is the aggressor, they've gotten this crowd energized, and we got ourselves a ball game. Favors back in for the Jazz, Ingles also re-enters for Utah, it's been Westbrook's quarter, he'll rise for three, and the rebound to O'Neal. Step back long two, and the jump shot's not falling to the Jazz as they did earlier on. Westbrook over O'Neal, drew a foul, and Westbrook back to the free throw line, where he is already four for four tonight. You know, you, you, you may question Westbrook's shot selection or decision making at times, but you can never question his passion to play the game. And you can see clearly on the elbow there was O'Neal. And Westbrook will get to the line for two. Westbrook averaging 21 a game in the series at 24 and counting tonight. Last time the margin was fewer than 10 points. It was four and a half remaining in the first half. And Quinn Snyder has seen his team go from up 25 to up nine here in the third quarter. Westbrook remains perfect from the free throw line. 26 for Westbrook. A 20 to three run for the home team. And this building that was stone cold silent earlier in the quarter now comes to life. They're on their feet in Oklahoma City. And keep in mind, Gobert picked up that fifth foul. So decisions for Quinn Snyder as to how he's gonna utilize his rotation. Mitchell, shot clock violation. And we talked about it now. The offensive execution for Utah, not quite as sharp, not quite as crisp, but credit OKC's attention to detail defensively. They have upped it from an intensity standpoint and much more discipline here the last few minutes. George steps inside and scores. And Quinn Snyder will burn another timeout. It's a six-point game. It's been Paul George and Russell Westbrook. The formula that won game one on display here in the third. Thunder rallying. Twenty-two to three. Oklahoma City run much of it fueled by Russell Westbrook. Yeah, he, he's been electric. And you know, it, it speaks to the supreme confidence this young man plays with. Was struggling, and I thought struggling with his confidence a little bit in that first half but stays in that relentless attack mode, and he is just willing his team right now back into this game. 14 of his 26 here in the third quarter, and the foul problems for the Utah Jazz, hampering them in their closeout effort tonight. Gobert on the bench with five. Favors has four. And the Thunder have shot 13 free throws here in the quarter after shooting this nine in the first half. Yeah. And a foul going to be out called on Abrinas, I believe. Yeah, that's a, that's an easy one. He could have called three or four fouls on Abrinas on that possession. He had Ingles locked up almost that entire possession. Take a look at him down low. He is just, I don't know what, you can, what you're expecting there. That one's hard to miss, partner. Oklahoma City over the limit. Ingles splashes the free throw. And, and that's exactly, if you Utah, what you needed right now. You're struggling offensively. 
you're not able to get back and set your defense. You get to the free throw line now, you've got an opportunity to defend. This is where they've had their success in the half court defensively. Now, let's see if they can kind of get back to what they had success with in that first half from a defensive standpoint. Well, on the other thing, Utah with five turnovers here in the third quarter, that has not helped. George works with the Adams screen, Euro steps, lays it up and in. 23 for Paul George. And a six-point lead for Utah. Great job of not settling by Paul George and bailing out the defense with contested two. Attacking the rim, knowing the shot blocking is non-existent right Eagles now. Eagles trying to get by Jeremy Grant. Threw it up wildly, picked up by Westbrook. George against Crowder. Good one-on-one -on -one defense, and then Crowder boards. That was a terrific job defensively by Jay Crowder just went vertical. It's a oh, holy cow! Goodness. Explodes to the rim! The dunk champion sends it in with authority. But, but go back to Crowder's defense because it created a transition opportunity. It got Donovan Mitchell in the open floor and he was able to convert inside. Abrinas works the baseline. Got his own miss. Ball didn't hit the rim. No change of possession. Shot clock inside at five. And Westbrook drills another triple. His third of the game. And Adams and Abrinas kept it alive. And great awareness by Westbrook, knowing the shot clock, able to deliver with the triple. Mitchell, a spin off the window. Westbrook ahead to Paul George. It's a three-point game. I don't believe in flipping the switch, partner, but something's been flipped here from the Thunder. A completely different team on both ends. They are on their feet. Crowder against Adams. Westbrook will go for the tie and puts it in. Wow. Holy cow, what a quarter by Russell Westbrook. Shot clock at eight for Mitchell against Grant. He'll rise for three. Abrinas runs it down. Shot clock is off. Thunder with a chance for the lead after trailing by 25 in this quarter. I didn't think you'd ever have the opportunity to say that in this quarter, partner. They'd have a chance. How about Mitchell there defensively? Ingles, this would count. But from 25 down, the Thunder have tied it on the strength of a 20-point third quarter from Russell Westbrook. Four of five from downtown in the third quarter. 12 minutes remaining. All right, welcome back to NBA TV. Here with Coach Donovan. Coach, 78 all. What did you tell your team after that timeout to go on this run? Well, we, one is we just needed to go possession by possession. You know, we obviously we got down by, I think, 25. And we played downhill. We got to the rim. But more importantly, we got stops. And uh, that, that enabled us to, to score some points. Staying in attack mode. Look like you got their big some foul trouble. Can you continue that in the fourth yeah, quarter? We got to keep playing downhill, moving the ball, being aggressive. And I thought that's the way we played for the, for the majority of the third. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, that. All right, back over to you. Westbrook with the lead. And Crowder and Steven Adams with an animated discussion. And Steven Adams loves contact, so I, I don't think he's that concerned, nor is he looking to get into any kind of a squabble. They're just battling down low there. He keeps it alive. Westbrook now with 34, and the Thunder their first lead since 17-16 with 407 remaining in the first quarter. I think they're going to take a look and see if there was any extracurricular activity. It did look like a elbow might have been thrown by Adam. From that angle, you could see vaguely. So now, ultimately, the crew on the floor makes the decision here. But Kevin Scott is our alternate official. He's in the official's locker room. He's on the headset along with Eric Lewis and Gary Zielinski. 
who are in Secaucus, so they will all take a look at this. Yeah, it, it ha happened before that. It, it was during the play as Westbrook got the offensive rebound. Crowder was behind Adams. And I don't know if he initially hit Adams. Yeah. Technical foul on Adams and on Crowder. Partner, I've never been a fan of the double technical. You know, it may as well not call one at that point. Having said that, though, now both guys have one. If you get another, obviously, you get the ejection. And you got to write a check. Yeah, it's for charity, though. You know, it's for charity. It's all right. One of the things that you have to bring up in the fourth quarters, Westbrook and Paul George have really struggled. And Anthony Westbrook and George coming into tonight, a combined 13 of 44. That's plus some 30% shooting in fourth quarters. O'Neal, well short, favors offensive rebound. Deflected by Paul George and kept in play. He led the league in deflections this year. Abrinas for three. Jazz with Ingles favors Rubio Crowder and Royce O'Neal. Crowder, his best game of the series. George nearly another deflection, 10 to shoot for Rubio. Favors draws the foul. George just took the foul there. The favors had gotten too low defensive, or I should say in terms of his positioning. So you're going to put him on the line in that situation. Fourth foul on Paul George, first team foul on the Thunder. Part of you were talking about how inefficient George and Westbrook have been. Keep in mind, Westbrook has not been out of this game in the second half. I'm not sure if Paul has either, and, and you have to wonder about fatigue. Let's go back to Monday. Remember, there was a, a little bit of frustration on display, and Lots of physicality, yeah. lots of technicals. Let's play off basketball. And Crowder ejected from game four. Favors makes both at the free throw line. All square at 80. Thunder playing for their playoff lives. Trying to force a game six in Salt Lake City. George against Ingles. Got inside and got the bucket. He is having his way and just playing a little more assertive. They, they're still not moving it great, but they are finding areas to attack now offensively and just being the aggressors. Only nine assists for Oklahoma City. But big nights from Paul George and Russell Westbrook. O'Neal nowhere to go. Rubio for three. Put it in. A big make for Ricky Rubio, who was just two of nine before that attempt. That's a huge shot there. He had been struggling really all game long, and no better time to come up than in the fourth. Westbrook oh. emphatically. Crowder for three. See that, that possession looked like OKC in the first half there. Rubio trying to do a little too much, and right now Utah just needs to settle down offensively. George, straight line drive, throws it up against Favors and draws a foul. Paul George to the free throw line. Mm -hmm. And that's five on Favors. Gobert already on the Utah bench with five. How about Westbrook on the split? Nobody at the rim to meet him. Dunk you very much. You talk about a tail of, I, I can't even say two halves, about a quarter. No, it was 15 <laughs> to five was the third quarter score and Utah was up 25 early third. And you rarely see such dramatic turnarounds, yeah. but then again, Russell Westbrook is a once in a lifetime player. He's been incredible and don't discount that man right there Paul George showed some frustration early in that third quarter, but Westbrook got him going and he's been able to pick up the slack here It's almost allowing Westbrook to rest a little bit at times here in this fourth. Paul George 32 points in game four 
29 tonight. A 40 to 12 scoring run by Oklahoma City. Crowder had it going early from downtown, but it's cool. But hits the long two. Crowder easily his best game of the series. I think he'd only had like 23 points coming into the series. Now 25, a playoff career high. Jeremy Grant rolls to the rim. Westbrook drops the dime. And not having Gobert, they're putting favors in that pick and roll, and he's got a hedge and hold. So that means there's nobody in terms of rim protection for the Jazz. And remember, Favors has five. Jonas Jerebko waits at the scores table. Rubio launches a three, and the rebound, Jeremy Grant. Westbrook slaloms. Lost it on the way up. Numbers for Utah the other way. Rubio, Crowder, goaltended by Jeremy Grant. And, and even though they got the deuce, I thought that was a smart play by Paul George to not take the risk and pick up his fifth foul there. Did enough to just thwart Crowder and give Grant a chance, even though the block was a little bit late. George Westbrook, Grant, Abrinas, and Patterson. Westbrook with a foul line jumper. And Crowder boards the miss. Jazz now with a chance for the lead here, approaching eight minutes remaining in regulation. That was deflected and stolen by Westbrook. And a timeout taken by Oklahoma City. Smart decision there. Big stretch coming up. You've got Carmelo coming into the game. He's been out a while. Can he give them some help? We know that this series, this series is far from over. It's not over yet. 3-1 is, is good. It's a good uh, result. But uh, we're not thinking about what we did. We're not thinking about what is what's, what's ahead. We're thinking about today. We're thinking about this game. Jazz trying to close out, but this is Rubio's first trip to the playoffs. Adams off the feet from Westbrook. So you look at Rubio, first playoff experience, Donovan Mitchell, first playoff experience, and on the other side, you've got Paul George, his 70th playoff game tonight. This is the 92nd for Westbrook. And if you're OKC, you're trying to get Utah to accept a loss and start thinking, well, we can close this thing out at home. On that possession, though, Donovan Mitchell's still thinking about ending this thing tonight there on the beautiful finish. Mitchell's been averaging nine a game in the fourth quarter in this series. Paul George for three. And the rebound, Rubio. Favors is out. Jonas Jarebko is in. Corey Brewer is the lone Thunder starter on the bench. Carmelo Anthony's back in, and Donovan Mitchell draws a foul. I'm going to get... Paul George, I think, on that. That would be his fifth. Yeah, you can see here on attack, and he just caught Gobert in no man's land there where he couldn't stop the penetration and allow Adams to get that free run to the rim. Second team foul on the Thunder. Jazz have one. So Gobert back on the floor with the five fouls. Rubio. Anthony the rebound for Oklahoma City. Westbrook walks into another one. Mitchell will initiate the offense for Utah. Abrina stymies him. Gobert with the follow. How about Gobert there just in the right place at the right time here. Utah not relinquishing their fight here tonight. Gobert's fourth double-double of the series. Paul George doesn't get the roll, but a loose ball foul called on the Jazz. And you see here, just in the right place, really, at the right time. Mitchell just really attracting so much attention when he attacks. And Gobert just the recipient on the offensive glass. Jarebko, his second foul. Speaking of double-doubles, Russell Westbrook, his 12th consecutive playoff double-double, longest active streak in the NBA. He's got it now and will try for three. And put it in again! 
fifth triple for Westbrook tonight, 39 and 11. Five of six from beyond the arc in the second half. Mitchell into a crowd, blocked. Westbrook attacks, Abrinas for three. How about Abrinas? Timeout jams. Terrific job coming up with that block and running the floor. And Westbrook rewards the young fella with the dime and the triple. Thunder not ready to give up yet. This is game five. If there is a game six, it will be Friday in Salt Lake City. And if there's a game seven, it will be back here at Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City. Early third quarter, the prospect of a game six didn't look very good. Now it is very much in play. And a foul as Adams and Gobert tangle. See who gets it. Actually, it's Carmelo Anthony. He's called for the foul. And there's your run. My goodness. And the Jazz, who couldn't miss from three, missing 10 of their last 11. They were 8 of 16 at halftime from beyond the arc. But that has dried up. And Russell Westbrook has flexed his considerable skills. Donovan Mitchell going to the rim. Yeah, he, he along with Paul George. But really, it's been their defense. Their defense, the ability to get Gobert and Favors in foul trouble. They got out in transition, started to get some easy ones that really changed the complexion of this game. George trying to create space against Gobert. Good one-on-one -on -one defense by Gobert. Ball to the floor. Picked up by Rubio. Crowder for three. And the rebound, Adams. Five minutes remaining in regulation. Thunder have come back from 25 down in the third quarter. Westbrook in a perfect rhythm tonight. 41. He had four 40-point games in the regular season. His regular season high, 46 against the Wizards in this building. Gobert all alone gives way to Mitchell for three. I tell you what, Rudy Gobert's got to go up and dunk that one. He had a wide open layup and decide to throw it out for that triple. Westbrook going glass. He is in such a rhythm right yeah. now. And it really speaks to the mindset that he brings. He is such an attacker and so relentless. Even when he's struggling, he just feels like it's a matter of time, and generally, it is. Largest lead of the night for Oklahoma City. Rubio's long two is in. And still a lot of time, two possession game here for the Jazz. Six in double figures, including all five Utah starters, but Westbrook has been the man. Another jumper, another make, and a foul. <laughs> That guy is incredible. He, he really is. It's not often you're in awe of a player, but, but Russell Westbrook, you'll have your, your tongue hanging at times with what he's able to do. And I think they're going to get Mitchell there on the foul. Sixth career playoff 40-point game for Russell Westbrook. Seventh in the league in scoring at 25 and a half. Averaged a triple-double for a second consecutive year. And I think they're trying to determine, does the foul come before, before the release the of the shot? So whether or not this shot would count. The other thing about that, too, it's tough with replay because it's not when the foul occurs, it's when you blow the whistle for the foul.
So Ed Malloy, the crew chief, explaining to us the foul occurred before the upward motion of the shot by Westbrook. So no basket, non-shooting foul on Donovan Mitchell. And that's a, a, a really a big break for the Jazz there. Both teams with three team fouls with 3.43 remaining. Because you would have gotten the basket and a free throw. Now you get the reset and the sideline out of bounds. George, Anthony, Adams, Westbrook, and Abrinas on the floor, but it's been all Westbrook tonight. A misfire there, and the rebound to Rubio. Defense. 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 Ingles picked up by George. Defense. Rubio forced into a fadeaway that comes up with an air ball. Yeah. And, and you can see, though, this is not the game that Utah wants to play, other than Mitchell. They don't really have anybody who's comfortable creating their own offense. George will rise and hit. Conversely, the Thunder have a few guys that are comfortable with taking and making big shots. Only two guys in double figures for the Thunder. Mitchell banks it in. But what double figures? Westbrook with 43, Paul George with 31. Five-point game, under three remaining. Westbrook has not come out the entire second half. He's logged 41 minutes. Adams with a screen to free Westbrook for a foul line jumper. Rebound is punched out, and a loose ball foul called on Oklahoma City. I think they're going to get Steven Adams there. He is not happy about the call. But it looked like you can see Malloy telling him you shoved him in the back. It looked like there was contact on a push there. At Stephen Adams saying I was grabbed prior to that. A big call nonetheless as the Jazz here with a chance to make it a one possession game. Donovan Mitchell now with 21, 20 plus in all five games. Goes into the spin cycle and puts it in. First rookie since David Robinson to put together five 20-point games in his first five playoff games. Three-point game. And remember, Paul George with the five fouls, they're not going to risk putting him on Mitchell, and Mitchell's taking advantage. Hit the step back three. Paul George, just his second triple of the night. 34 for Paul George, under two remaining. Mitchell. Rebound Westbrook. George with a hesitation move encounters Gobert. Shot clock at 10. He rises, fires, and the rebound. Westbrook lost it. Crowder on the pickup, and a foul called. This is going to be. I think it's going to be. foul on Rubio, I think. Yeah, yes. I think Westbrook looks like he had the ball. And we're going to get Rubio coming in late there with the contact. Right there, you see the grab, and that'll keep the possession with the Thunder. And this is a huge one here, two-possession game. If you're the Jazz, you can ill afford to give up a score. Both teams out of fouls to give. Westbrook, another foul line jumper and another make. Timeout, Utah. And you are seeing a performance that they will be talking about for a long, long time. Greg, so many times in the NBA game, we talk about the two-man game as an individual yeah. <laughs> play. Well, this has been a two-man game for Oklahoma City tonight. Yeah, literally a two-man team. Now, granted, defensively, they have, as a group, really stepped up. But those two guys have just been spectacular in their ability to create offense here when you needed it most. One timeout aside, Ingles, Gobert, Mitchell, Rubio, and Jay Crowder. Three by Mitchell. Honey comes in and out. It's boarded by Brewer. And they can smell a game six here in Oklahoma City. And the big thing, too, partner, that I think OKC got back to what made them a pretty good team during the regular season defensively. 
Adams on the floor and called for time, I believe. So a timeout taken by Oklahoma City. They have the lead in the leather, but only 2.5 on the shot clock coming back in. Well, we've talked a lot about Russell Westbrook, and rightfully so, but Paul George has been more than a wingman tonight. Yeah, he has. You remember a year ago, it was all about Westbrook all the time. Well, he's got a partner in crime here tonight with Paul George, who has delivered big time, particularly here in this second half as they uh, look in the seal the deal. Westbrook throws up an air ball. Would have been a shot clock violation. Ingles releasing long. Jeremy Grant is back. Drop feed. Oh, a rejection by Paul George of Mitchell. George. Donovan Mitchell. Jazz need points in a hurry. Crowder pulls up for three. Rebound out to Paul George, and we'll see you in Salt Lake City. Partner, I did not see this one coming when they got down 25, but credit the Thunder, particularly their two big guns, Westbrook and George. It's tied for the third largest comeback in playoff history. Russell Westbrook, 45 and 15 boards and seven assists. And this series goes back to Salt Lake City. Jazz with a 3-2 lead. But they will be reeling about this one. Dennis Scott is with Westbrook. Russ, 45 big ones. You did not come out in the second half. How do you do it? Uh, seeing a go, man. Uh, what a great group of guys in the locker room. Never quit. All season long, you know, everybody doubting us. We'll take a one game at a time, go to Utah, and come back for game seven. How big was it for you and PG to be in attack mode to get their bigs in foul trouble? It's very important, man. All game long, make sure we stay in attack mode, miss a mate, um, and staying aggressive. And your role players coming off the bench are bringing guys like that making big shots down the stretch to make sure we get a win. Uh, huge, man. Those guys have been great all season long, man. And uh, happy they made some shots tonight and get ready for the next game. And last one for you, you got this crowd involved. They helped you get over this hump tonight. Best crowd in, the, in, in all sports, man. They do a great job of staying with us, regardless of what the score is. And tonight it was huge. See you in Utah. Yep. All right, guys, back over to you.